Hi guys, welcome to Spring Boot tutorial series. So in this video, we'll see global exception handler in Spring Boot. Means, so we'll see how to handle the exception handling in the Spring Boot. So first of all, if you see what is the exceptions, you are placing some order in the e-commerce e application. So suddenly that product is not available so in this case while placing the order they will give some message saying that this product is out of stock right so this is like graceful termination of this application okay so because here we are they are handling the runtime errors okay so if it is not handling then it will give something like a blank screen kind of thing okay so first we see how many types of exceptions are there there are two types of exceptions checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions so checked exceptions is nothing but class not found exception io exception sql exceptions so these are all coming under checked exception unchecked exceptions is nothing but arithmetic exception null binder exception class cast exception array index of the bounds exception these are all unchecked exceptions unchecked exceptions we no need to handle in the compile time it will come on the runtime only okay checked exceptions we need to handle at the time of compilation itself so if you need any video on this exceptions concept just comment in the comment box we'll do separate video on this exception topic okay and if you see try catch finally usually in the java level if you want to handle any exceptions we can use the try and catch block okay and finally also okay whenever exception is occurred or not occurred finally black will be executed and also if you want to throw the any exceptions we can use the throw and throws keyword to create the custom exception and you can throw that exceptions okay this is the one way to handle the exception but in this video we'll go with spring boot related exception handling process okay so for that one we need to know aware of two annotations one is annotation controller advice annotation exception handler okay so annotation controller advice will use in the class level and annotation exception handler will use on the method level to specify the which type of exception okay and these things we'll see in the practical session now okay so for this one i have created one uh, customer service this service already I have created in the created in the previous video my previous video so this is spring data jpa so here i explained clearly what is this service all about what it will do okay so in this session i'll explain you this exception handling concept okay so handle the exceptions in globally first we need to create one class global exception handler okay so if you see here i am using annotation controller advice in the class level okay and apart from that i am using annotation exception handler in the method level if you observe this method i am handling customer not found exception from this method and the below method i am not handling any specific exception by default i am throwing internal server error so if you are getting the custom if you'll get customer not found exception from the application i will throw the exception from here apart from this exception remaining things will come under this one okay this is the way we need to use annotation controller advice and annotation exception handler to create custom exceptions okay so for this one i have created one method here okay if you see the global exception handler inside this method i am defining that uh, class this is the error detail so i am passing status code message and details and apart from that i have created one custom error exception like customer not found exception okay so we'll try to uh, test this functionality okay so where it will get that for example so if you hit this api from this postman so this is the service and if you come here see this is the method it is throwing customer not found exception if we are passing id integer as id value this value is not available in in the database then it will throw the 
customer not found exception so that is called get customer by id so come here so this is the get customer by id i am hitting one and click okay i need to go to the get method okay so this is the get i am passing one is the id so if you hit this one if you see it is coming status code and message and details where it is coming so it is coming from the error details how it is execute when it is throwing customer not found exception from the service it will directly handle from here and it will create object for error details with this uh, details one is for status score another one for message and I request a description with this it will create the object and return back to the response like this we need to handle the exceptions in the spring boot okay. so if you have any doubts or any queries on this uh, feel free to ping me in the comment box i will explain you on this thank you for watching if you feel this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel